an unbelievable expansion run by the Vegas Golden Knights. Boy, a season we won't soon forget. <laughs> now joining us from Sea Island, Georgia, the site of the NHL Board of Governors meetings, our buddy Dan Rosen. And, you know, Dan, we just saw what the Vegas Golden Knights were able to do in their <laughs> expansion campaign. Set the scene for us because it looks like down there at the Board of Governors meetings, they're going to vote to add another team. The Seattle franchise looks like they're going to get approved. Boy, I don't know if they'll yeah. do what Vegas did, but what's what's yeah. the situation down there in Georgia? Yeah, right. Good luck, Seattle, right? Yeah, I mean, exactly. I mean, no chance. Uh, well, I guess there's a chance, but to match what Vegas did last year would be quite impressive. So the scene here is the meeting is ongoing right now. It's going on right now, but the votes on Seattle will not take place until tomorrow. Then they, they'll meet in the morning from 8.30 to 11.30, and it's expected to pass. It needs 24 votes, uh, 75%. Uh, to pass, and it is expected to pass, and they will be a 32nd NHL team, and it will be in Seattle, and the market you see right there. They'll play a key arena, which is going to be renovated. The renovation should be starting shortly, a $700 million renovation, and it's a $650 million expansion fee that uh, David Bonderman, a private equity CEO, and Jerry Bruckheimer, the Hollywood producer, will be paying to be the owners of the new franchise in Seattle. Uh, hefty price because Bill Foley paid only 500 million, only 500 million. Bill Foley <laughs> paid 500 million to bring Vegas in, so it went up 150 million dollars to bring in the Seattle franchise. But the the meeting right now, the board meeting that's going on now, is not related. Well, there's some sure there's some talk about Seattle, but the vote itself will be tomorrow, and we expect to have an announcement shortly after that vote. Okay, so now the next logical question is, okay, when will they start playing? And you talked about the arena situation, going through this renovation. That's going to take time. What is the target? Do we have any idea of when they could start actually playing in the National Hockey League? Well, that is a point of contention that needs to be ironed out, and maybe it's being ironed out right now, or maybe it already has been. We just haven't gotten word on it yet. The Seattle group wants to begin play in the 2020-2021 season. And you understand why. It's a shorter runway for them from this vote to their first game. They want to keep momentum going. But the NHL's contention is we're not ready to start this if the arena is not 100% ready to go. And they're not sure that the arena will be 100% ready to go in the fall of 2020. So they're looking at the 21-22 season. I was told that the application was going to be changed to reflect to be on the 21-22 season as a start date. Haven't heard anything regarding that yet. So that's something we do have to find out. That and where Seattle is going to be playing as well, because I believe realignment is part of this whole expansion process. It's not a significant realignment, but it is part of the expansion process with Seattle obviously going to have to play in the Pacific Division. And that means a Pacific Division team is going to have to move to the Central Division, and that is likely going to be the Arizona Coyotes. Has there been any discussion about, about that moving forward? I mean, is Arizona okay with that? I mean, Arizona has its own challenges, as we yeah. know, uh, you know, moving forward. But has there been any talk from Arizona that, hey, we're not really on board with this? Maybe they do want to end up in the Central. How do they feel about this? Yeah, it's a good question. I, I haven't heard anything from their side. Andrew Barraway, their owner, is here. So we're hoping to catch up with him about that, especially if that vote goes through tomorrow and that announcement is made that they're going to be moving to the Central. You remember, Arizona right now is on Mountain Time. It's a two-hour time difference from the East Coast. And a lot of times, they don't they do not do daylight savings in Arizona. It doesn't happen. So the fluctuates between, a, between Mountain Time and Pacific Time. So it will only be, for the majority of the regular season, with the Coyotes in the Central Division, a one-hour time difference from a lot of the teams in that division. So that is probably why it's a natural move for them. Plus, there's also a natural rivalry that can be built with Colorado, too. Uh, and there, there could be one built with Vegas as well, I understand. But Colorado certainly as well. So haven't heard much regarding from the Coyotes regarding that move. I don't know that they will have much to say on it. I think it might just be where you're, this is what's happening and it's a done deal. Dan, one other thing I'd ask, and I mean, obviously it's very difficult to answer this question, but I'll throw it out to you anyway, is that we know that the collective bargaining agreement will come up at some point in time. How does this, you know, will this, will this for fans out there who are wondering, you know, we want to make sure that we're going to keep playing. We're not going to have any work stoppages. Is this a yeah. positive thing that the league has a franchise that's going to be coming in and they're going to want to stay on a timeline? 
Well, I think the league wants to stay on the timeline regardless, EJ. I don't think the league has any desire to have another work stoppage, have any labor dispute at all. And that is another reason why they're pushing for the World Cup in 2020, remember? And they would like to have some certainty on that Remember, both the league and the PA have the ability to reopen negotiations for the CBA in September 2019, effective September 2020. And they want to waive that because they want to have a World Cup in September of 2020, and they don't want to – we've gone over this. I mean, they don't want to do what they did in 2004. So I think that's more pressing than Seattle coming in to the league, especially if Seattle – if. They're not going to be coming in until the 21-22 season. So I don't know that the collective bargaining agreement and Seattle are one and the same if they're tied together. It's more the collective bargaining agreement and the World Cup. I think that's more of the pressing issue. All right. Well, Dan, thanks a lot. We appreciate it. Enjoy lovely Sea Island, Georgia. I will. It's a little gray here. But right, hopefully well, the sun will come out tomorrow. That, you'll, well, you're there, so you provide a lot of sun. <laughs> I bring all the, the br- I, I bring it up. The uh, brightness is yes, you do. Of me, right? Yes, you do. Yes. Yeah.